Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you a film based on a true story called Unbroken. The film begins where many planes are on a bombing mission to one of the Japanese defense bases. Japan responded the attack by firing artillery from the mainland. After dropping the bombs, the Japanese aircraft began to strike back. They returned attacks and several Japanese planes eventually crashed, but the gunners of the bombers were also hit. After that one of the flight crew named Louis Zamperini or called Louis ran into the cockpit and looked so frustrated when he saw many Japanese planes and he remembered his past again. The scene begins when Louis is listening to a sermon from the pastor at a church. Day and night. Louis is a bad boy. He even smoked and drank alcohol at a young age. Louis also likes to fight with other children, for which he is often punished harshly by his father. Come ti when Louis's brother named Pete was practicing running, he accidentally saw Louis running from someone because he was caught stalking. Pete recognized Louis's talent and immediately coached Louis. While practicing Louis wanted to give up, but Pete gave Louis motivational words that made him excited again. Keep going the way you're going and you end up as a bum in the streets. Louis continues to practice which makes him win competitions and become Olympic participants. This kid is on his way to the Olympics. Before leaving for the Olympics Louis told Pete that this Olympics was just a trial for him and would focus on the Olympics four years later in Tokyo. Louis also thanked Pete for making him an international athlete. The scene returns to the moment where Louis's plane was about to land at their military base which turned out to be not far from the bombing site. When landing their plane's tires burst but they were able to make a landing without any casualties. While relaxing Louis still practicing with the help of one of his friends. After training, Louis's friends tell that they have been given a mission to rescue the missing flight crew. While on a mission, one of the engines on the left side of the plane was damaged. They tried to repair, but in the end both engines on the left failed and they took all the equipment to survive because they had to land in the sea. Before the plane collided, Louis recalled when he was following the Olympics in Germany. Even though he didn't win Louis broke one of the running records which made him very happy. The scene returns as their plane makes an emergency landing in the ocean. Shortly after landing it was seen that Louis was trapped in a plane that was about to sink, Louis tried to escape and finally succeeded. Louis swam to the surface and saw that his two friends, Phil and Mac, had survived. However the rest of the crew died as a result of the emergency landing. Louis looked around but all he could see was the vast ocean. Mac was getting frustrated and Louis tried to calm him down. Cup didn't make it. Hey don't think about it Mac. Louis checked their food but all that was left was a chocolate bar and a bottle of water. Hey Mac, chocolate. Two or three sips a day. They were bobbing in the ocean waiting for help. The next day they saw the plane and tried to call for help but the plane did not budge. Louis looked at the chocolate wrappers that Mac had eaten. Louis starts to get mad at Mac because Mac is running out of food. The next day Louis and his friends looked exhausted because they didn't eat even their skin looked dry because they were bobbing in the ocean. When a bird landed on their boat, Louis caught it and they ate it. But they immediately vomiting as a result of eating the bird. They finally tried fishing and got a fish that they ate immediately. Okay. Their days passed and it had been 18 days adrift in the ocean. Their condition also looks pathetic. The atmosphere of the sea suddenly changed and a storm came. They held on as best they could, which eventually they got through the storm. After that it rained, they began to drink the rain water to relieve thirst. The day goes by, and finally they saw another plane passing by. Louis tries to attract attention by shooting flares. The plane turned around, but the plane was an enemy plane that they finally fired on. Luckily they survived the attack. But their boat leaked due to the attack earlier, they finally repaired the ship so it could stay afloat. They continued to go through the days until Mac was seen to be critical and had to lose his life. 
Now they just seem resigned to waiting for help because it's been 45 days and no one come to help them. Until finally they were found but by Japanese troops. Louis and Phil were brought ashore and locked up somewhere. In Louis prison given undeserved food. After that Louis was taken to a commander there. The commander asked about American armor in Hawaii but Louis did not know because him were not from there. Then Louis was asked to describe a bomb by the commander and Louis described it. After that Louis and the other prisoners arrived somewhere using a ship with their eyes closed. Then they were transported by truck to be brought to the Japanese prisoner of war camp. The prisoners were told to line up and were introduced to the camp leader named Watanabe. When Watanabe gave a little speech, he saw Louis who was staring at him. As a result, Louis was beaten until he bled. That night Louis walked into the barracks and was greeted by other American soldiers. There they talking about Watanabe. They also say that Watanabe is a rich man who failed to become an officer. The next day they were told to line up and bow to the Japanese flag. Time passed and winter came. Watanabe approached the prisoners and asked them who the Olympic athletes were. Louis also admits that he is an athlete, then Watanabe orders one of the Japanese soldiers to compete with Louis. Because his condition was not good, Louis was seen falling when he passed, but Louis kept trying to get to the finish line, Louis's persistence made Watanabe angry and finally hit Louis. Every day the detainees were forced to work. While working the prisoners occasionally eavesdropped on Japanese soldiers to find out about the war situation. But this was known to Watanabe which ended with the punishment of the detainees. Japan. One day the prisoners saw American attack planes approaching the area and they realized that soon war would break out in the area. The next day Louis was visited by people from Tokyo Station, they told Louis to call his family because the Americans had broadcast that Louis the Olympic athlete had died. Louis was finally brought to the Tokyo radio station, Louis also gave news to his family which made his family happy because they knew Louis was still alive. There Louis was treated well and fed well. Not long after, people came to order Louis to broadcast fake news about America in exchange for Louis to be treated well in Tokyo. I can't say this. Louis refuses, which results in Louis being sent back to a prisoner of war camp. When he arrived at camp, Watanabe looked annoyed at Louis because Louis did not want to be an ally of Japan. Watanabe immediately ordered the prisoners to hit Louis once each person. Blow after blow Louis received until the night until finally Louis lay down. Winter came again, the prisoners put on a show to entertain them which was also witnessed by the Japanese soldiers. There Watanabe approached Louis and told Louis that he got a promotion and will be leaving tomorrow. The next day Watanabe did a brief farewell to the Japanese soldiers before leaving which was witnessed by all the prisoners. At night the American attack had reached the detention camp which made the prisoners happy because American victory was getting closer. But one of the prisoners was not so sure he said that if America wins it is likely that prisoners of war like will be killed. The next morning the prisoners were told to move to a new camp by train. Once there Louis looked around and realized the camp was a coal mine. There they were told to line up and introduced to the commander there who was none other than Watanabe who used to be their commander in the old camp. There the prisoners were worked very hard to haul coal. While the prisoners were working, Watanabe stopped them and said that their president had died which made the morale of the prisoners even more broken. One day, one of Japanese soldier pushed Louis while working. Louis fell down the stairs and injured his leg. While working, Louis, who was exhausted, was pulled by a soldier and confronted by Watanabe. There Watanabe told Louis to lift the wooden block up to his head and said he would shoot Louis if he dropped the wooden block. If he drops it, shoot it. The other prisoners kept looking at Louis and encouraging him by speaking quietly. Louis who didn't give up lifted the wooden block with looking at Watanabe's eyes. <coughs> Watanabe, was annoyed because Louis, and Go approached Louis and beat him to the ground. 
The next day the prisoners were gathered by Watanabe and reported that the war was almost over. After that the prisoners were told to take a bath. Seeing the Japanese soldiers pointing their guns at them the prisoners thought that they would be killed. But shortly, the American plane crossed indicating that the war was over and the Japanese soldiers withdrew their weapons. The prisoners cheered for it. The planes that passed also provided food which the prisoners ate immediately. After that, Louis returned home to America and was greeted by his family, who were very happy about his return. A year after the incident it was discovered that Louis was finally married. It is also known that Phil survived the war and married his girlfriend and remains Louis's best friend. And Watanabe went into hiding to escape punishment for being war criminals. At the end of the film, it is shown that Louis who is 80 years old, comes to Japan to fulfill his dream of running in the Japanese Olympics as an Olympic torchbearer. We can see Louis has forgiven everything by running enthusiastically while greeting the Japanese people even in the middle of the rain.